Hi, welcome to this English lesson, and we're going to start with a question for you, and I'll give you the answer at the end. This place here in Sicily, called Cefalu, was the setting for quite a large part of quite a famous film. Now, a clue. It's not the one that you think, but maybe you can guess from the pictures, maybe you will recognise which film was filmed in part in this city, Cefalu. Cefalu is in Sicilia, the island known in English as Sicily. This video is the first in a new playlist of English lessons based on reviews. So that could be travel reviews like this one, restaurant reviews, book reviews, film reviews, theatre reviews, but based on reviews. So, Sicily, famous for the Mafia. But you don't see that normally. This was my second visit to Sicily. I've never seen any sign of the Mafia. But then I guess perhaps they're the kind of organisation that operates, obviously, in a very kind of underhand way beneath the surface. If something is underhand, then it's not honest. If something happens beneath the surface, then it is hidden. So, this is one of the lovely streets of Cefalu, one of the labyrinthine little alleyways that dominate this town. Labyrinthine means relating to a labyrinth, and a labyrinth is like a maze. One of those things that you go in as a child, and you get lost, and you can't find your way out. They're like a game, really. But in an actual city, of course, the game is for real. So, this is a typical street scene from Cefalu. And again, which might help you guess uh, about the film that I referred to, uh, another street scene from Cefalu. Um, this, incidentally, was the street outside our holiday apartment where we stayed. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the wonderful apartment that we stayed in later on. So this was the main square in Cefalu. It's a very scenic square. Scenic means it, it looks very beautiful. There are a wide variety of cafes. Uh, and to be honest, none of them seemed too touristy. Uh, the prices were not exorbitant given the beautiful setting. If a price is exorbitant, it means it's extremely high, very unreasonable, and that it does not provide good value for money. So the prices were not exorbitant. I actually got my barnet cut uh, in a barber's that you can see in the right-hand side of this particular photograph. Uh, barnet is a slang word for hair. And I have to say, the Italian barber, hmm, he seemed to cut my hair with rather more flair than an English barber. So, a barber is somebody who cuts a man's hair, and flair means real style, um, is what that means. So, this, another part of that big square, this is the old Norman Cathedral of Palermo, which dominates the skyline there. If something dominates, then it is the most obvious thing. Uh, skyline really just means what you see when you look up. Uh, Cefalu is a beach town on the north coast of Sicilia, north coast of Sicily. Uh, nice sandy beaches, gently sloping into the sea. So it's one of those seas where you can stand up for quite a long way. The swimming there seemed extremely safe. There were no jellyfish or anything dangerous like that. So quite an extensive beach area. Very pretty. Um, the weather, at least for the time we were in Cefalu, was really beautiful. Very pleasantly warm days. Uh, things changed later on in the holiday when we went to Palermo. Um, we'll have a look at the trip to Palermo in the next video. But this is a great beach area for kids. So if you have kids and you want somewhere kid-friendly, then this is a great place to go, Cefalu. Uh, another beach scene, sorry the photo isn't really in focus, a, a beach scene at night, taken from a beach bar. Uh, they have a few beach bars that are quite nice and pleasant to relax in. I do have to say though, 
that if you're the kind of night owl who loves kind of banging parties at night, um, Chafaloo is probably not the place for you. It's a resort aimed more at families. So a night owl is a kind of informal expression in English for a person that is most active at night. And I use the adjective banging, saying banging parties. If a party is banging, this is just slang to mean it's a really lively party or maybe something in a nightclub. But they are not things that you will really find here in Chefalu, which is a family-friendly resort. So, you remember earlier on I mentioned that the street scene was from outside our apartment. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the view from our apartment. Pretty special, huh? Uh, as you can possibly see, the apartment has actually been hewn into the rock. This verb to hew in English means to carve something out, to chop something out. In this case, they would have had to use axes to chop into the rock that is part of the old town wall of Chefalu to create some of these apartments with the result that you have an absolutely amazing view over the beach and out to sea. And really just an absolutely breathtaking view. Absolutely stunning, as you can see. Um, really are right by the beach, so you can just open the door and just lie back and enjoy the wonderful, mellow sounds of the sea. If something is mellow, then it's the opposite of intense. It's kind of calm, and it's the kind of thing that makes you feel relaxed. So the mellow sounds of the sea. Incidentally, I will add in the comment section of this video some information about the apartment where we stayed, should any of you uh, be tempted to stay somewhere with such a wonderful view. It's a great place for a romantic break or something like that. This is one of the views from up above Chefalu. Uh, you saw earlier that Norman Castle. Well, if you go up behind that Norman Castle, there's a beautiful wooded area, interesting for children. There's some nature up there, some goats, which we'll see in a minute. And this is the view down from the hilly wooded area. A wooded area simply means an area with lots of trees. Um, this is a view as well, also making your way up, but in this case towards the lighthouse. Opposite the lighthouse, just outside Chefalu, you will find some really good restaurants. Um, there's some great food uh, on this island. This is the road up behind the Norman Castle into the wooded area. You can just about make out some goats. Lots of mountain goats live up there. So that's really something quite um, exciting for children. The food. The food of Sicilia is, is really good. Uh, very enjoyable, flavoursome cuisine. The staple foods on the island include fish like tuna and swordfish and the key vegetable ingredient is aubergines. They are absolutely head over heels for aubergines in Sicily. So when I said the staple foods, I mean the foods that seem to be eaten most often. Tuna, swordfish, aubergines, tomatoes, herbs like mint, and of course pasta and pizza and Sicily's own version of pizza called Svinicone, which we will talk about in the next lesson when we look at my trip to Palermo. This is one of the restaurants opposite the lighthouse. A nice tuna steak, fresh carrots, and an apple caponata. Caponata is a kind of sweet and sour Sicilian dish based on aubergines with things like capers and olives and often other vegetables. The cuisine of Sicily, well worth trying. 
This is a restaurant right, right opposite our apartment, I Sapori di Donciccio. Uh, a very good restaurant, a little bit quirky. Quirky means unusual, but in a good way. Here is some evidence of one of the items of quirkiness. This was the starter given out uh, before every meal. It's simply a hard-boiled egg, a piece of toast with some anchovy, and a small shot of a sweet Sicilian wine. Uh, next to us in the restaurant one evening were some other English guests, and they did the traditional English guest thing of basically embarrass themselves and everybody else saying, Oh my god, we can't eat that. Uh, we can't have an egg as a starter. That's so unusual. English people are not the world's most adaptable eaters. They are really finicky on the whole. If you are adaptable, then you are willing to change and try new things. If you are finicky, then you're very fussy. There are lots of things that you don't like or that you won't try. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe, but see the video in the top right hand corner if you want to know how to make sure that you get updates when I add new content, because these days you have to tell YouTube. Please like the video, please share it on your social networks. If you have any questions uh, about English, haha, <laughs> spot the deliberate mistake there. If you have any questions about English or about Sicily and this trip, please put them in the comments section below this video. Now, the answer to the question that I posed earlier, Cinema Paradiso. I don't know if you, any of you ever saw that film, but the plot was about somebody who got all nostalgic for a beautiful village where they grew up. If you get nostalgic, it means that you develop the feeling that you really want something from the past. So this person was nostalgic for their beautiful village where they grew up, and they used Chafalu to film several of the scenes for this video. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. Goodbye.